In all cases, worldwide, the specific answer for each class of submarine is highly classified operational knowledge. That being said, in general, it depends on the characteristics of the missile being launched. SLBMs, for example, are generally launched shallow enough that the ejection system will send the majority of the missile out of the water, dry, before the rocket booster ignites. The usual way to launch a missile from a submarine is to place it in a tube, slowly flood the tube with water and equalize pressure, open the submarine's watertight door to expose the missile to the sea, launch the missile using an initial propulsion stage using compressed gas or something similar until the missile clears the water, and then ignite the missile's rocket motor or jet engine in the case of a cruise missile. The missile tubes are capped by pressure doors to keep the water out at the SLBM sub's normal operating depth, around 300 meters, because high pressures aren't good for the missiles. To launch, the submarine is brought up to about 50 meters to the bottom of the keel, call it 35 meters to the hatch. The hatch is opened, and the missile is ejected using steam vaporized by a small explosive charge, developing enough pressure for the missile to pop out of the water so that the rocket can fire. So the launch depth is limited by the steam that can be generated safely inside the launch tube. The deeper the submarine goes, the more steam is needed to overcome the water pressure and to give the missile enough speed to breach the surface. SLBMs are heavier than water, so they will slow down as they travel vertically through it. Left to their own devices, at a deep enough depth the missiles would slow to a stop and sink back down. Ability of the sub to maintain proper depth is what limits firing rate. The fire control system can let them go at 15 second intervals, but actual launch is inhibited until the boat's depth meets specifications.